miles away. CBS 2's Asal Rizai live at the American Red Cross Region Headquarters with more on that this morning. Good morning, Asal. Yeah, good morning, Audrina, Ryan. You know, the last couple of days we've heard from disaster workers, organizers who are leading the operations there on the ground and also a number of people from the Chicago area who know someone who either was there, is there right now, or someone there who had to ride out this storm. Now, we spoke with one mom from Aurora whose daughter is living in Sarasota. That's about 40 miles north of Fort Myers where Ian made landfall. Self phone service was out for about two days and there was no way to get in touch as the storm right, went right through her daughter's neighborhood. She was finally able to get in touch with her just yesterday morning and she tells us she cried when she heard her daughter's voice. She came back to her apartment today to find half of the roof gone, siding torn off, concrete blocks floating in the pool. The grocery markets are destroyed completely. She said, Mom, it's unbelievable carnage. Uh, it's a really scary situation for both that mom and that daughter. Glad they were able to finally connect. Now, we do know that the Red Cross has nearly a dozen volunteers from Illinois that have already headed to South Florida to help with disaster workers there on the ground already and communities that will be needing food and water and other critical resources. I'm live this morning from the American Red Cross Greater Chicago headquarters. That's all reside. CBS 2 News. Today, CBS Chicago is teaming up with the Red Cross for a day of giving to help people in Florida devastated by Hurricane Ian. Now, it officially starts this morning at 6 at the top of the hour, but you can donate $10 right now. And it's pretty easy. Just a simple text message of Ian to the number 90999 right there on your screen. We also have a website where you can donate. You can find it at cbsnews.com slash Red Cross.